Let's say you love your current home, but your family is growing and you need a bigger space. What if I told you you could have the best of both worlds? Buy a new home and keep your current property as an investment. G'day, I'm Aaron Christie David, mortgage broker and founder of Atelier Wealth. I specialize in helping Australian families start out and scale up their investment property portfolios. I often see families outgrow their properties. And if you don't have an inkling to renovate your home to accommodate the growing number of little feet, your only other option may be to buy a bigger house. You could sell your property, which is definitely a great option because you wouldn't pay any tax and you'll have more cash from your sale to contribute towards your next purchase. But that's not your only option. Hear me out. Don't be too quick to sell. You could actually turn your existing home into an investment property. This is especially a good idea if your property has appreciated in value, it's in a great location, and you're likely to get a great tenant. So I'm gonna show you why it could be a better alternative to selling. Before I do that though, I just wanna preface that this video is general in nature and not intended to give advice. I always suggest chatting to a qualified mortgage broker who can give you the best guidance for your situation. Okay, so as a mortgage broker, one of the biggest mistakes I see homeowners make is paying off their home loan as quickly as possible so they can own that property outright. But what you really wanna be doing is maximizing your tax deductible debt. And the best way to do that is, wait for it, not to pay off your home loan as quickly as possible. Sure, if this is the only property you want to own, then paying off your loan would be a wise idea. But if you think somewhere along the line, you may wanna start building your property portfolio, avoiding this becomes important for two reasons. The first reason is because instead of focusing on saving money, you're paying principal and interest to smash down this mortgage. So without savings, how are you gonna pay a deposit for your next property? Now, you may be able to access equity, but the equity you draw out will be home loan debt because you can't claim any interest on this portion because it's being used for personal use. Equity can seem like a complex topic to wrap your head around, so make sure to check out my other videos to help you navigate this topic. The second reason is a term I mentioned earlier, tax deductible debt. By paying down your future investment property loan, you're paying down deductible debt. This means your home loan, which we converted to an interest loan, has been paid down. And this means you may end up with a higher non-deductible debt. Another consequence of this scenario is that you may be positively geared. So your investment loan balance is now lower and the rental income covers your loan repayments and outgoing expenses. While this can be a win for some households, it can also create a tax issue for other households. So what options do you have? Well, if you buy a home knowing that you will ultimately move out of it, one option could be to opt for an interest only payment plan for your home loan. While the interest rate may be higher, your repayments will be lower and you will also have the advantage of parking more cash into your offset account. This has three advantages. For starters, with cash in your offset account, you're essentially reducing your monthly repayments. You're also now building a deposit that you can use towards buying your next purchase. And lastly, you're keeping your deductible debt high to avoid paying this down. Look, I know it can sound controversial for a mortgage broker to tell you to not actively pay your mortgage down. But in my experience, I've seen far too many clients in a position where their only option was to sell their current property in order to buy their next home. Turning your home into an investment property could be a great way to boost your cash flow and build your wealth. So if you are thinking about selling your home to upsize, hopefully I'll be able to convince you to consider that selling isn't your only option. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up 
and check out some of my other videos on all things property investment. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.